I think the boys club's always going to exist to some extent, but I'm doing everything in my power to change that. I am the Director of New Development for Nest Seekers International. I've been a broker in New York City for almost a decade. I've worked really hard to get to where I am. I started with co-op and condo sales and I've become one of the biggest new development agents in all of New York City. I currently manage a $10 billion portfolio. My team is one of the largest teams for the company and we are absolutely dominating it. There is more money in the Hamptons than ever before and Eddie, the CEO of Nest Seekers trusts me to be the boots on the ground in this market to make sure that nothing falls short this summer. And to help the team reach a level where they've never been before. This event has to be perfect. Let's yeah. be prepared. He's been blowing up my phone all day about it. He's blowing up my phone he's about it. Like he's blowing everyone's phone up. <laughs> Eddie, he does know how to bring down the hammer, but I try to avoid that as much as possible. He's definitely intense, but it sets the bar. And my number one job is making him look good. The stakes are high, yeah. we need to sell this house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have always been incredibly passionate about real estate because I grew up around development. Every single day, there was blueprints spread across my dining table. The amount of time I've spent on cranes or on excavators and actually in a site and watching a house be built, it's why I always knew that I wanted to not just be in real estate, but to focus on development. I'm not here just to be growing the team. I also need to get business myself. And right now, I have my eye set on a gorgeous waterfront home in West Hampton Beach. Great to see you. Welcome to West Hampton. Thank you. <sighs> It's a lot different from Brooklyn, huh? <laughs> Tell me about it. Chad has been a developer client of mine for a very long time. I sold out his project in the city in six months pre-construction. The entire building off of floor plans broke a number of records for the neighborhood and just cultivated this incredible relationship with him. So I'm really hoping that he's gonna trust me with this new property that he has. So as you know, we've been having so much success. My team has been doing incredible in the city. This is really the leap that I want to take in the Hamptons. I want to do it with you. You know how relationship focused I am. With developers, it's about dollars and cents. He's not just going to hand me this listing because we have a great track record together. You know that everything I do, the marketing is fully behind it. My heart is behind it. It's going to be me who's here, who's showing. We really put our heart and soul into our work, and we expect the same of the people who are going to represent us. We're hoping this will work out with you joining us out here and bringing your ingenuity and your efforts to what we're trying to do here. I'm excited. Let's Always. do this. OK, All let's right. do it. Can't wait. Do I get to move in while I'm showing and selling? Or As you know, <laughs> the house is yours. Uh, <laughs> you have the keys. Now give them to someone else. OK. Hi, Chad. Hey, how are you? I'm great. What's going on? Oh, you know, just uh, running around, keeping everybody happy. I'm trying to do the same. Am I keeping you happy? Uh, you are, you are. But I do need to just give you a call with a little bit of uh, a turn of events. OK. Some long-standing prospects of ours for custom build. OK. Uh, we were walking them through 20 Cove Lane, and they made an offer that we couldn't refuse. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and send them a contract on that. So um, I'm just going to say I'm really sorry that we didn't get to have you list that and show yeah. it because I know you would have really knocked it out of the park for us. Yeah. My parents got divorced when I was eight years old. And I think that is probably one of the most divining points of my life. I think that experience has shaped the businesswoman that I've become today because I have truthfully a fear of things crumbling and things breaking, and I do everything in my power to try to keep people and teams and deals together and fight as hard as I can until there's absolutely no fight left because I've seen what that looks like firsthand. Obviously, I wanted to be the one to sell the home for you, but if it's not this one, it's gonna be the next one. My whole life, I grew up being taught that your name and your reputation is everything. All of that changed. A number of years ago, my father uh, pled guilty to a financial fraud. He was a very, very successful real estate developer, and I had no idea that his projects weren't doing well, that the market wasn't doing well, and this was what was going on in our life. 
all of a sudden, my father had been arrested by the FBI and my whole family's life was shattered. For the first time in my life, I was very embarrassed and I still am of my name. And that's really, really hard <laughs> when you're trying to work so hard to build your reputation and build your brand. Eddie calls me daily <laughs> for updates yeah. and for he's pressuring me and it's a lot. And I just want to make sure that I'm out here to do the best job that I can. And I am here to rattle things up a little bit, honestly. It is a boys club. I get that. I've been living it my whole professional career. And out here is particularly known for that. We need to make sure we're doing it together and everyone understands that all eyes are on us right now. And my eyes are on everyone too. Let's just make sure that you oh, understand yeah. these are my expectations and it has to be executed perfectly. I want people to see me as a leader when I'm out here and the only way to gain that respect is if I am succeeding myself.